guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I did just kind of like the halo eye effect on my lid where it's more of just focused on the center. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I definitely think it's kind of fun for the holidays. Um, a very warm kind of red tone brown with just a um, sparkly um, kind of goldish light gold shade um, he, that you can see there um, on the center. But I hope you guys enjoy this video um, that I will do for you that you're going to see coming up after this. Um, but don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy it and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Hey guys, so today we're going to start out with some shadow insurance to prime our eyelids. Um, to get them ready for our eyeshadow today. Then we're going to go in with the Professional Primer by Benefit, and I'm going to go ahead and prime my face for my foundation as well. Then I'm going in with Coastal Scents Kokomo Cafe and I'm going to be applying this in my crease area with a IT Cosmetics crease brush. And I'm just going to be doing windshield wiper motions to apply this. All of the shades that I'm using today um, are pretty close. Um, the only one is going to be the last shade which is going to be more of a reddish. Um, brown shade but I'm going to be using them all basically in my crease area um, so I'm just going to be making sure that I'm blending them really well together Then we're going in with Coastal Scents, and this is the shade Light Taupe, and it's just a little bit of a different shade than the one we used before, and I'll be applying this one just a little bit lower than the shade I just applied, and I'll be using that same crease brush to do so. Then I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is in the shade Sienna. Um, I love this shade very much, and I'm going to be applying this in my, the same area that I just applied that shadow. Um, it is a little bit more of a reddish brown, and I wanted to have something kind of to warm this eyeshadow look up. Um, I'm using that same crease brush as well from before just to kind of help um, blend them all together and then I decided that I wanted to apply a little bit more directly into my crease so I went in with a crown crease brush um, and did that as well. 
to make it just a little bit more defined. Then I'm going in with a blending brush and um, just really blending all of those shades, um, making sure that there's no harsh lines between my skin tone and the brown shades there in my brow area, um, and just making sure that they're all blended together. Then I'm going in with that shade there, that's a Makeup Forever palette. Um, it's one of their artist palettes, and I'm going to be applying that as the halo effect directly in the center of my eyelid. Um, and I did use the NYX Glitter Primer um, before I applied that, just to help it stick right there in the center. And you can apply it um, as lightly as you would like, or you can continue to pack it on kind of like I did. I wanted it to be um, pretty shiny and really stand out. And I do apologize if you can hear my husband in the background. He's in the other room, but... He's not being very loud, so I'm not sure if you can hear him or not on this voiceover. And I'm using just a lid brush. Um, I believe that's by City Color, and but it is a pretty dense lid brush. That way I can make sure I'm applying it directly where I want it and that it's not getting anywhere else. Then I'm going in with just a small um, crease or I guess smudging brush and um, bringing in that sienna on the outer edge of that halo um, effect area and making sure they're kind of blended together and there's not really any harsh lines or empty area. Then I'm going to take all those shades that I used on the um, crease area and apply those to the bottom lash line. I believe that's just a pencil brush and I believe that's a crown brush. Then I'm going in and applying the color I applied on my lid into my inner corners just to give it a little bit of a highlight. Then I'm going to go in with a black liner and this is um, the brand Hikari and apply that to my top and bottom lash line.
Then I'm going to go in with some mascara and apply that to my top lashes. I'm going to apply two coats and I will also apply those, I don't think I showed it, but to my bottom lashes as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like I said in the beginning, please don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday for a new one and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.